I got the valves numbered so that they will go back in the same place where they were. Um, so numbered. Two, four, six, eight, or however you want to number them as long as everything's the same. But I got each valve numbered and then the cylinder combustion chamber part numbered as well. Uh, but we'll get these all out and uh, get ready to start lapping. Okay, so we got a rainy day today and I uh, just got off work this morning and uh, figured I'd get to work on lapping in some valves on these heads that I got for this motor that I'm building. So this is the first video. I probably should have started recording a bunch of this stuff a long time ago, but just now getting around to it. But anyways, what uh, project that I got in the works right now is a LS-based motor, LY6 block, all cast iron. And uh, we'll take you on a tour of what I've got so far and what all I've done up to get you guys up to speed. Um, the heads um, are eBay. Um, 821 heads minus the I think they're sodium filled valves so they get, they got like the 823 valves um, but what I did to the head so far is um, cleaned them up sandblasted the combustion chambers and seracoded them so they're all seracoded getting ready to start lapping in valves and sauce found some uh, some blasting media a little bit in the uh, some of the areas that there shouldn't be so I'm gonna go ahead and clean these heads up again really good I'm gonna hose them down with the pressure washer and then use some brake cleaner and some compressed air to get them all dried out before I start lapping everything in that way I don't run the risk of really messing something up because there's blasting media in places where there shouldn't be so um, do the best I can to film that it is raining I don't want the camera to get all wet or anything so let's take you on a tour of what the heads are doing so far so here's here's the heads So Cerakoted all through here with the piston code, everything's numbered so it can all go back in the same place. Okay. They're extremely clean, or at least in good shape. I mean, you don't see like the oil discoloration in the, the valve train area. So whoever I got these from on eBay did a really good job cleaning them up. I think they or blasted them or something because they are extremely clean aside from the blasting media that is in some spaces that I'm going to clean out now. Um, but all the valves and they're numbered so that they'll go back in the places where they need to to match with their corresponding combustion chamber here which is numbered underneath as well. But I've already cleaned these up here so there's no media on there. Um, just got to do the heads. So we'll get started on that.
Okay. So we got some die cam here so that we can easily see how we're doing here. Um, valve grinding compound and valve grinding tool. So I'll try not to cover this in too much detail. It's been done quite a bit already. I use some Q-tips on this instead of this brush because well, it seems to work pretty good. We're just gonna smear some die cam in there. Yeah, I don't like that. We're gonna use some Q-tips. A little bit more control. Yeah, that's nicer. Got the number two valve because this is num number two combustion chamber. Wow, the die cam doesn't really stick very well to the uh, piston coat, which is crazy. But we'll see how this piston coat does in the long run if I ever have to open up the top end for whatever reason um, after the motor's been running for a while just to see how it holds up. Because I'm curious myself. Um, put some of this die cam on here as well. Let it dry. There's a number two intake valve. Um, the, the Cerakote went on very easy and really nice, but I also Cerakoted the whole head. So we'll, t we'll show you on the other head while this one's drying. So ultimately sandblasted the whole head as well took it all apart sandblasted it and then refinished it in Cerakote just the air cure stuff and this color here is the stainless color kind of has a, a grayish color um, looks pretty nice turned out nice it laid up really really good um, just two really light quick coats and so far I'm happy with it. Seems really tough, but time will tell. Okay, so that took entirely way too long to do one head, but one head is done. Sprayed it down with brake cleaner, wiped it all down really good. Um, everything looks really good. Let's see if I can 
It's going to be hard to pick up on the camera. Let's see. But they all look good. I think I'll take a break from the lapping for the moment and install the valves and the valve springs and at least get that done. Stand by. <laughs> 